In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use CCleaner to clean old registry entries on your computer and old files that you're just not using and give it somewhat of a performance boost. Alright, so we're going to start with installing CCleaner. Uh, to get it, it's a freeware application. It's a great application. Yes, to get CC Clean, all you have to do is go online. Uh, their website is www.ccleaner.com. And, uh, or you could just type in C Cleaner in Google or your search engine there and find it. And then once you get to the website, it'll pretty much look like this window, which you see here. And you see it says download C Cleaner now. You click on that link and you just proceed to download. Alright, so once you have it on your system, once you completed the download, what you do is you double click on the installation file. It's asking you for the language, English of course. Click on next. Agree to the user agreement. Showing you the destination folder that it's going to uninstall. I'll leave it at default. C program file, C cleaner. Okay, so once you get to the uh, install options screen, it's just asking you a few options. Do you want to, you know, have them integrated or not? Add a desktop shortcut. To add start menus. You could add C Cleaner as an option in Recycle Bin. Check for updates, and you can add the Yahoo Toolbar. Of course, I I rarely select any of these options. I like a clean desktop. Always want updates, so that's why I select these but this is totally up to you this is totally up to you so you could customize your installation to have it install to what best fits you alright so you're gonna click on install and that's showing the installation now once you finish installing you'll see this message and of course you just select on finish so once you open up CCleaner this is the window that you're presented with alright and we're gonna show you what these options are here you're in the cleaner itself tabs you see the different tabs you have registry tools and options so this one is automatically selected which is the cleaner then it's showing you internet explorer temporary internet files cookies history recently typed urls delete index.dat these are old websites that you entered or outlook express email transactions and the last download locations now all of these are pretty much safe to uh, delete but um you want to def definitely think about it like recently type URLs if you used to type it in the first name and automatically the rest of the phrase will pop up that's what that is recently type URL some people don't want to get rid of that because it makes it easier for them so you will want to keep that um then you got from Windows Explorer recent documents run and the start menu you see uh, those are for people who usually mess around in the run options. They know what that means, but pretty much the same as the recently typed URLs in the run box. Um, the search auto complete also, and um, other Explorer MRUs. Uh, empty recycle bin, temporary files, clipboards, you know, memory dump, check this file, fragment, window log file. These are all pretty much safe to delete, but um. CCleaner has a, a handy tool, it's called the Analyze tool. What we we'll do is analyze each of these options you have selected and come back and tell you what it feels you need to clean. Yeah, so this Analyze tool is definitely a good tool to use, and we're going to use that. This Analyze button helps out a lot. And also in the Application tab, it just has different applications and current cookies that they might have laying around that you can get rid of too but the analyze tool works for that also okay so once you have that we're just going to select on it, the analyze button C clean actually analyzes these temporary files it's going to tell you what it thinks about it basically okay once that process is finished C Cleaner shows you all the files, the cookies and the temp files that it's going to get rid of. Now, like I said, this is pretty much safe, but I will uh, definitely recommend you go through the files, 
just to make sure you know you don't recognize something that you might not want to get rid of you know so once you come to agreement that you agree with all of these files you're just gonna select run cleaner then C cleaner let you know that these files will be permanently deleted and it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to proceed you select OK C cleaner starts that process okay so once C cleaner it's finished the process it tells you how many files was removed how long it took and it tells you the details of the files as you can see on this system it had 27 gigs worth of files so that's definitely a lot alright so from here we're gonna go to the registry tab we're just gonna select on that okay so once you select on the registry tab you'll be presented with this uh, options here and you see the different options that uh, the registry cleaner has it says registry integrity the missing or shared DLLs unused file extensions ActiveX class issues applications fonts application paths help files installer obsolete software software you want to run as startup start menu ordering and uh, etc that but um for the most part what you want C cleaner to do to your registry is get rid of old entries in your registry that you're not using and also find whatever is it find in the registry that you actually don't need and can get rid of okay so once you have all these installed or selected once you have the one selected that you want to actually check for problems you can unselect them by clicking on the pluses or select them the same thing with the cleaner tab I don't know if I mentioned that or not but once you go through the ones you want to scan for issues you just select on the scan issues button okay so once you selected the options you want to check you just select scan for issues now the only ones I kept out was MUI cache and missing shit DLLs I never like to um, really mess with DLLs because a lot of applications do uh, share DLLs so I just like to leave that blank for now and um just select scan for issues okay um so once C cleaner goes through your registry it picks out all the files old application entries, paths, help files, installers, you know, run at startups, or what it figures is obsolete or insufficient, it selects them. I suggest you go through this list. Just make sure you don't see any current applications that you use in there. And um make sure it's not the older versions. Now a handy tool that C Cleaner is, once you select on fix selected issues here it asks you if you want to back up changes to the registry now this is something you definitely want to do just in case you overlook something and you clean all these registry files up and all of a sudden one of your applications don't work correctly so you always have a backup copy of your registry so you can so where you can go back to and start from there now this is definitely like I said a great tool I can't mention how much it is because if not you have to save it yourself which is not a problem but a lot of users they just want the job done they don't want to get too technical with it so you select um, yes on here yeah and once you open that up it's gonna ask you where you want to save the file at we're just gonna save it to the desktop it's gonna call it reg save you select save okay and once you here C cleaner will go through every file, explain what the problem is, and ask you what you want to do. And you can just select fix issue. This file extension Cakewalk Studio. Fix issue. And you can go through all of these. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna select fix or select the issues. Then it asks you, are you sure you want to fix all selected issues? Yes, I am.